All right, so today is day nine. We are here. It's Father's Day. I have my little Chica del Pueblo outfit. It's really cute. I got this here. And we're about to go eat a breakfast and see what we do for Father's Day. I think we're just gonna walk around in the center and see what else we can buy, I guess. And maybe we'll see something else. I know there's probably gonna be a lot of wine for like every restaurant. And then yesterday we just went to two pueblos and one had like alebrijes, which are like the spirit animals. And the other one had a, a bunch of like woven things and there were like a bunch of old ladies making like woven clothing, which is like different from this. It's like little strings and they like push it up and comb it. All right, so we just made it back from Mitla and they're like ruins. And so uh, apparently if you wanna go there, they close really early. So they close at noon because of the pandemic. So if you wanna get there, be sure to get there before noon. But we made it there like at 12, 10 or something like that. So we barely did not make it. <laughs> I wish they let us in, but we literally came and they were closing the gates and they said that they're closed and they only open certain days. But we did get to go to Mitla and we had some really good Oaxaca ice cream. It had like the Mayacuya, which is passion fruit and it was really good and like all natural. And then I also had a mango one, but the Mayacuya was like bomb. It was so good. And then we also bought a couple things. So let me show you guys. Okay, so yeah, let me go over here because there's like better light. But, so we got this little baby dress for my niece and it's so cute. It's like embroidered and everything. And it is really cute. It has like these rainbow butterflies on there on the top and it's really cute. So she's gonna look so cute in this. They also have like the adult one, but it, I don't know. It just didn't look the same. Like the bottom was like lace filled. And then my mom got this shirt. Okay, so my mom got this shirt and it literally looks kind of like the dress that I'm wearing. It's like really similar. It has like the lace on the sleeves and it has like the flowers on the top. And if you wanna see what my dress looks like, it literally looks exactly like my dress. And if you just like cut it from the bottom and I guess if you don't take off like the side um, embroidery too. But it has like lace on the back too. And then we got another dress. Okay, so we got another dress and this one's really cute too. It has like the lace sleeves, it has like the really cute floral. It's like nice and colorful. It's got these little chickens on it and it's really cute. And then I also got this shirt, which is like a men's, um, it's just like a men's shirt and it's cute. It has like these um, embroidery on it. And so we're gonna go get some food to my, so they went to go return the car. So now we have no car and we're gonna go get some food and it's still Father's Day and we're gonna see what my dad wants to eat and my uncle because it is father's day and then we're gonna go listen to music they have like a live music band that they love listening to that we go to like anytime that we can and they play like live music they have like a marimba and drums and all this set and they like going to drink beer and stuff in the downtown the Centro and so we're definitely gonna do that and I think I'm just gonna start like rolling all my clothes and packing them and hopefully I'll have space to buy more stuff because we're gonna go to the Centro to get more stuff. Okay, so I just rolled up all my clothes and I heard people really like looking at like organization and stuff. So this is like what it looked like before it like didn't even close and I'm about to roll all of these up too but here's all the clothes that I brought for like and I still had like four outfits left, but this is what it looks like now. It's basically empty and I have a ton of space for stuff. 
last day here in Oaxaca and there's literally a ton of people here in the Zocalo and we're just gonna walk around the same shopping center that we always walk around and our flight isn't until really late so we're just gonna look around I guess and buy more things <laughs> So we had to come and try a Tayuda, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's one of the most famous here in Oaxaca and we got one here in the market and so what it is is a crispin tortilla, it's covered with Oaxaca cheese, beans, either lettuce or cabbage, tomatoes and avocados. And I had this in a different restaurant, but I wanted a more authentic one. And so this one was really good. It's like coated with that Oaxaca cheese. And Oaxaca cheese is kind of like stringy and salty and delicious. And it's honestly like a big giant tostada or a quesadilla. And so uh, we definitely love to try these out in Oaxaca. So if you're here, you definitely need to try this. It's like one of the most traditional things that you can eat here. You can also get some hot chocolate, which is one of the most famous items here. You can get it either in milk or you can get it in water and it seems kind of weird to drink it in water because it seems like it would be too light or something. But the chocolate here is so rich and dense that it's actually really creamy. And if you see like behind me, you can actually see like the smoke shop area like of the mercado where you can buy like the famous carne asada where they like grill it right in front of you. But honestly, this was really good and an awesome thing to try out as my last meal here in Oaxaca. And it also has something called asiento, I think. And what that is, is like animal fat or lard, which is like put on top as like kind of like a flavoring. And I got like the vegetarian version, but you can add meat or anything else that you'd like as well thanks for watching my channel if you liked this vlog be sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time bye